Ich lohne mich, wenn ich auf so etwas geben nur Preis, ja, aber ich habe mir auch schon, aber ich habe mir auch gut das. Da belohne ich die Apostel von GMS und Honesty, Brothers, Dünner Work und Truth, War, Sincerity. So, wenn ich uh, do a quick one on uh, why beavers build dams, das ist just another example of the, um, of the, of the, of the, of the wondrous works of our, of our Lord, right, of, um, you know, how he's made everything in perfect balance. Right, and also the um the stupidity of this devil Esau, right? Who 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 biblically is a so called white man, and why he must be destroyed, and one of the reasons why he will be destroyed, you know, prophecy pursuant to Revelation eleven and eighteen, right? Um, so there are two videos. I won't I won't play them. Um, uh, because we'll most likely get flagged. This is uh, why babies are the smartest thing in fur pants from the channel. It's okay to be smart. Well, that's a good one. And uh, also this one here from PBS, How Beavers Build Dams. Now, both of those have, uh, you know, interest and, uh, you know, insights. And, you know, they're, they're quick, short. They hit the point. And one of the things they touch on is, you know, the the, 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 the benefits of, of beaver dams. And literally, you watch the documentary, uh, or rather short documentary, especially uh, this one. I mean, you feel free to watch any others. But, you, you know, this one, especially, you're like, bro, like, these animals are, are, are very important, right? And it just shows you that everything, even the wicked in Esau, has a purpose on this on this planet, right? Which is why in the kingdom of Israel, in our kingdom, there ain't going to be no Edomites because they will no longer serve a purpose, right? And it's ironic because all of these animals that Esau kills, they're going to be in the kingdom, but he isn't. Well, he wants to get rid of mosquitoes. Mosquitoes will be in the kingdom. They're, they're, they're valuable for the environment, whereas he is not. So are beavers, right? One of the things that beavers do, it explained in this documentary here, why, why beavers are the smartest thing in fur pants, right? One of the things that they do is they uh, the, the dams that they build, basically it creates habitats that are, what do you call it, that um, uh, it creates habitats uh, for loads of different animals, and it also purifies water, right, it helps prevent flooding, and it helps prevent droughts, right, but this man in his infinite wisdom, what did he do when he came over to the Americas, he started killing them all, right, whether it was to stop westward expansion, or to, or you know, or, or for fur, or for perfume, right, so uh, let me, uh, Grab a bit of information and jump into scripture. In fact, uh, let me let me grab this scripture first. Actually, um, is it eleven eighteen? Yeah, uh, it says and the nation Revelation eleven eighteen says and the nations were angry and their wrath is come, and the time of the dead that they should be judged. And that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, and then to the saints, and them that fear thy name, small and great, and shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth. Right? And you know, this man's going around destroying the earth. Right? So he's gonna be destroyed, which is which is ironic of it all. Right? That's the biggest irony. Right? So I'll read this bit of information and I'll uh, get the you know the rest of the scriptures where you know the the, the works of the Lord are being praised, right? And also a, a, a touch on, you know, on, on the perfection of the Lord. Because once again, I said he made Esau, but he made Esau to be destroyed. <clears throat> uh, eventually, right? It says beavers. Beavers are the engineers of the rodent world, right? And they, in one of those uh, documentaries, it talks about uh, animals, you know, that uh, have 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 a, a great impact on, on uh, I think they use the word ecology. Right, let's say if you watch the documentary, you can hear the uh, the actual word that was used there, but I believe it was ecology, right? And um, one of the things that was said, yeah, it's you got humans are the ones that affect uh, the ecology the most, followed by uh, beavers, right? It says they fell trees by gnawing through their trunks, then used the branches to dam streams, right? The dams create a pond in the middle of which... The beaver family constructs an island made of more branches. The island or beaver lodge is a perfect home where the beavers are safe from predators. So these beaver dams can be three meters high and up to 500 meters long. Right. This is an example of its uh, of, uh, of the dam here. 
Right, so the dam at the top of the beaver dam is made of branches and small tree trunks and beavers cover the wood with mud and water plants to help bind it together. And how, and how did they all suddenly learn how to do this? Well, that's another thing, because one of the things Esau has done is basically made it look like, you know, everything was an accident. But this is this is perfection. This is this is a sign of a show of the Lord's perfection. Yeah, you know, you watch a documentary. Well, I don't know if you can see the bottom uh, left hand of this image here. Well, you got the stones. Well, you see the beaver carrying the stones. It, you know, you see another one carrying mud, right? The sticks and everything. You're like, damn, bro. The Lord, bro. The Lord is is amazing, man. Right? It says and water plants to help bind it together. It says the pond beavers build their dams, create a pond of deep, quiet water where they can build their home or lodge. The dam slows down the flow of the river so that the beaver's home does not wash away. <clears throat> So the lodge, the lodge can only be entered through underwater tunnels, making it extremely hard for predators to get inside. So here it is, this this one thing, right, is covering so many different things, doing so many different things. Right? But it was, you know, the, the, you know, these these animals just happen to, you know, get here, right? It says, uh, lodge. The lodge is a beaver-made island. It protects the beavers from predators and shelters them. From cold and bad weather, right? So it's it's good for them. It shelters from cold and uh, from the cold. It's safe, so that they don't. Uh, would you call it? So that they don't. Um, uh, so that more protected against predators, right? It's good for the environment, right? It 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 it, it freshens the water, right? But you know these animals just came here, uh, and ended up in the wild by accident. It was all just a big bang. Right, this is a living chamber inside the lodge is a cozy chamber raised up above the water level so it stays dry. And the beavers line the inside with dry leaves and plants. Bigger dams sometimes have a separate area where beavers can dry off before entering the main dam. Yeah, so even like they, they are in one of those, I believe it said like it has like three sections. <laughs> well, one was like the nursery, one was you know, and it's just <laughs> man. He says the beavers pile up mud and stones on the riverbed to create a firm foundation for their dam and lodge. <clears throat> says beavers got and teeth. Says beavers rely on their sharp teeth, right? Which you watch the documentary says that that are reinforced with iron, right? And powerful jaws to chew through wood in order to build their amazing dams and lodges, right? So everything in this was, uh, you know, in this animal was designed to perfection, right? And everything, you know, works like clockwork, and the whole system should have been working you know in 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 tandem you know should have been working you know as a unit that's why they call it an ecosystem right but what does what does what does what did he sort of do once again he come over here right he killed the animals off right and then it's only now it's like oh wait no they're actually useful of course it's useful that's why the lord created it Right, it's just around 39, 33, all the works of the Lord are good, and he will give every needful thing in due season. Right, so everything is good. You know, snakes are good, weeds are good, forest fires are good, they're naturally occurring. Right, um, you know, everything, man. Hey, look at Israel, <laughs> right? You know, the children of Israel, the real Israelites, right? The so-called Negro, so-called Hispanic, right? You know, so-called Native Americans, we're, we're, we're hella useful, right, we're the princes of the power, however, however, what what happened, we're, we're the ones looked down upon, right, that's why you read Wisdom, the fifth chapter, it says, um, uh, in fact, let me grab that real quick, the point that I want, uh, Yes, yeah, it says, I'm going to start, in fact, I'll start from the top. This is Wisdom 5. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him, and made no account of his labours. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear, right? when they see the salvation, and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation, why? Because of the chariots, what? because he's told the world, oh, you are foes, little green aliens, right? So far beyond that they look for, and they repenting and groaning, for anguish of spirit, and will, shall say within themselves, this was he whom we had sometimes in derision, and a proverb of reproach. We fools accounted his life madness, and his end to be without honour. Right, so they're going to be like, look, but you ain't nothing. Right, and that's how this man looks at a whole load of things, but then it comes out that it's bloody useful. But it comes out it's bloody useful when, uh, 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 you know, when it's almost too late, or if not too late. 
right? Because this man's all about greed. So he's all about, you know, now, right? Without thinking about the future, right? And we've read this Revelation eleven eighteen already, which is why he's going to be destroyed. One of the many reasons why he's going to be destroyed, because he's destroyed the earth, right? Because then everything was working as a perfect system. And he comes along. Right, so Genesis one twenty four says in the most I said, Let the earth bring forth the living creature after his kind, cattle and creeping thing, and the beasts of the earth after his kind, and it was so. And the most high, uh, the powers really made the beast of the earth after his kind, and cattle after their kind, and every thing that creepeth upon the earth after his kind, and the powers saw that it was good. When I'm saying powers there because, you know, especially in this chapter, uh, Genesis chapter 1, right? Uh, uh, you know, God, when you see the word God, you look in the Hebrew, it's uh, Allah Hayim, right? And that's uh, referencing to the powers because you read, uh, I believe it's in Colossians, it says all things were created by him and for him. And that's in reference to Yahweh Shai, right? Which is why it's plural, which is why it says in verse 26, let us make man in our image. This is the, uh, what do you call it, the uh, uh, Yahweh Shai and the angels that really created the earth, right? The word first time you see Yahweh is in Genesis, the second chapter, right? And, and, you know, you'll see the Lord say, you know, I made the heavens, etc, etc. Because, you know, it was the Lord's plan. It was the Lord that gave the power to do it, right? Uh, would you call it, for example, you look, read um, about uh, the, 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 the house of the Lord, right? It says King Solomon built it, but did he physically, you know, lay the bricks or whatever? Right? Did he physically do all of the hard, hard, laborious work? Right? No. Right? But, you know, you, you still say, you know, King Solomon built the temple, right? And it's much the same here, right? But that's a, you know, that's a story for another topic, right? Well, I mean, I, I've covered it really, right? It says, but the point I wanted to grab there was, and the power saw that it was good, right? You know, and you read all throughout this chapter, all you're reading is, and the power saw that it was good. It was good. It was good. Why? Because it was a perfect work. <clears throat> good, in the wider sense. Use lightly as now, see whether good, pleasant, pleasurable, agreeable, pleasant, good, excellent, excellent, right? It's the second Ezra 647. Upon the fifth day, thou, thou didst, thou sayest unto the seventh part where the waters were gathered that it should bring forth living creatures, fowls, and fishes. So it came to pass, for the dumb water and without life brought forth living things at the commandment of the most high that all people might praise thy wondrous works and that's what we're doing now right you know you know that, that I, so I, uh, lord what i'm doing in this uh, uh video praising the wondrous works of the lord right and everything that the lord does is is, is wondrous you know just to bring it back to prophecy once again or right? even the destruction of this man this this devil east was going to be wondrous right you know, it's going to teach, um, you know, the children of Israel. Well, really, it's going to teach the whole world what happens when you do wickedness. And this, you know, this period of time that Israel has been in subjection, right, well, is a, 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 there's been a lesson for us so that the elect can be the perfect rulers in the kingdom, right, but, you know, pursuing to what our, you know, our, uh, you know, apostles before us have said, Right. This is Psalm 33 and 4 says, For the word of Yahweh is right, and all his works are done in truth. Right? So if he creates an animal like uh, the, the, the badger, right, then it's a perfect work. Once again, what does he do? You know, you in fact when you whenever you read or you watch any of these nature documentaries, what do you always hear? Right, and how these animals are now having to fight with humans, right, for land and for space, right? It's so why they're trying to, you know, kill them or control where they do what they do. But here it is. These animals have a very useful, uh, uh, what would you call it, impact, a useful uh, place in the earth, right? So I'll carry on. He loveth righteousness and judgment, and the earth is full of the goodness of the Lord, right? By the word of Yahweh were the heavens made, and all the host of them by the breath of his mouth. He gathereth the waters of the sea together as an heap. He layeth up the depth in storehouses, 
Let all the earth fear Yahweh. Let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. For he spake and it was done. He commanded and it stood fast. Right. Right. And this is, uh, this, you know, this is the thing. The Lord basically said, yo, this is how it's going to be. Right. And then everything has just worked perfectly together. As everything has worked to, to what it's supposed to work. Right. Even Esau, right? And they say, you know, just want always talk about the prophecy, right? Even Esau, this is Proverbs 16 and 4, says, Yahweh hath made all things for himself, yea, even the wicked for the day of evil, right? So Esau, right, he's the wicked, right? So called white man, right? Today, predominantly, right? He's wicked and he served his purpose on the earth. He's, he, he's been, he's a perfect devil. Well, you look at some of the legislation that this man writes, you look at, you know, the way his system, the web he creates, right? You be like, yo, this man's a devil and he's a perfect devil, right? And then when he, you know, what does the word devil mean? Deceive, right? And when he's finished deceiving the people, then the people will no longer need to be deceived, right? They will no longer need to be a wicked on the face of the planet Earth. Why? Because in the kingdom of Israel, right? Uh, 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 the, you know, righteousness is going to be there Why? Because the children of Israel are going to be ruling Why? And they're going to be perfect So they ain't going to go off Right? So yeah You know, the, the, the wicked are The wicked, the Lord created the wicked And they're serving their purpose Right? This is, <clears throat> this is Job 27, 14 It says, if his children be multiplied It is for the sword And his offspring shall not be satisfied with bread Right, so hey, you get all these Edomites, they're you know, they're being created, all these little wicked serpent seeds, they're being created for the soul, they're being created for their own death. Right? And read what Obdai the uh Obdai one eighteen, where it basically says, Look man, in fact, is that my uh that's my last one, I might as well just grab it. Die one eighteen says, and the house of Jacob shall be a fire, the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for stubble, and they shall kindle in them and devour them, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for Yahweh hath spoken it. Right, so you know, beautifully there will be no more Edomites in the kingdom of Israel after they've served a thousand years of slavery. Right, there will be no more Edomites. Why? Because there'll be no more need of them. Right? Why is everything else is going to stay? Because everything else has a use and a purpose. Because the Lord hath created it thus. Right? Including, you know, uh, the good old badger. Right? So, um, he said, uh, Lord's well, that was edifying, man. Um, and yeah, all the works of the Lord are good. And uh, yeah, it's just been a quick one. Uh, well, it's not been a quick one, but yeah, this is uh, those we were edified. Till the next time, shalom.